Good day, my name is Casey Waters and we'll be taking you through today a little fantastic product called Bulk Messaging. Bulk Messaging is great where you want to send messages to a group of recipients but you want the content that each recipient receives to be unique. To demonstrate the functionality today, I'm going to assume the role of a vehicle servicing center, reminding customers of their appointments. For bulk messaging to be the most effective, we need to prepare two pieces of information, which will then relate together when completing the bulk message send out within Whisper. First up, let's have a look at the template. Whilst we're not restricted to using templates for bulk messaging send outs, it's needed to prepare your template before the send process, saving yourself time during the next send out because everything's already prepared. Let's go and create that template using one of the examples from the template library. Because we're going to be using a uh, template that requires an RSVP so or confirmation, the easiest to work with is the marketing template, event invitation. Now for the purposes of my send out, I'm electing to use both SMS and rich messaging. I could use email, but I personally find email responses to be a little bit slower than I'd like. I need my appointments confirmed ASAP. To ensure email isn't used, I'm going to remove all of the existing components under the email channel. You'll notice the green tick has been removed from the top of the email channel. This signifies that Whisper will not use this channel for any messages using this template. Now let's go and define our SMS content on the mobile tab. I'm going to keep the content nice and short, but ensure the basic information is there so that those without smartphones can still confirm their appointments. Now that we've defined the mobile content, I can go on to define the other content in my messaging. You'll note that before I swip, swap over to the web content, I've used two attributes, that being app time and app date. Let's make a note of these as we'll be reusing those specific titles a little later in our bulk messaging send out. A note to those of you who only wish to use the power of SMS, you do not need to include the click for more info and the add app web link section that you can see at the bottom of my SMS content. For those who wish to give their recipients a little bit more, let's tailor our web content to suit our purpose. In the web channel, I wish to again include the details of the individual's appointment, but also some greater information about what to do on arrival and availability of loan vehicles and shuttle buses. Let's remove the image heading. I'll put my logo in shortly. I'll also remove the Whisper copyright logo, social links, and contact links from the bottom. For the purposes of my invitation, I'm only looking to get a very simple yes or no confirmation from the individuals. So I'm only really looking for a single answer. I'm also going to remove these two other options here. Now that we're happy with the structure, we can start refining the content to suit our assumed scenario. So let's swap out the logo and refine the text to what we want it to be. You can see at the top here, we've already got a component that includes the Whisper logo. This makes it really easy for me to swap out for my own logo. Let me just go and upload this one. And there we go. Now you can see that the logo has been uploaded, but doesn't really fit to the space. And that's purely because of the width setting that has been set here. It has a maximum width of 140 pixels, 
but I want this to be nice and immersive. So I'm going to change this to 100%. Also note that there's a little bit of padding around this image. And I want this to be absolutely to the edge of the mobile screen. So I'm going to remove all padding so that it's zero pixels all the way around. And that looks much better. Whilst I'm here, I'm also going to take advantage of some CSS properties to change the color of the text. You'll notice that whilst my logo is a nice green, I still have the whisper blue showing throughout my communication. I want to change that. I already know the, um, the web hash for my color, so I'm going to go through and add that manually here. And you can see immediately the colors changing on the left hand side. Oh, but I do have to change that button. So let's scroll down to ensure the submit button is also carrying the same color. And instantly we've got that color changed. So this is looking really nice. Now it's time to update all of my text elements. There's a little bit to change here, but do remember the power of templates allows you to do things once and then reuse that template again and again in the future. You'll see me start using additional tags, just like the app date and app time that I used within my SMS content. These again are variables that I'm going to use within my bulk messaging send out. In short, they're dynamic variables, which will be uh, using the data that I've included for each recipient, ensuring a really nicely tailored piece of communication. The address for all of my uh, recipients is always going to be the same. So I'm just going to enter the uh, details of the garage. So this is looking really nice. I might remove this additional component and change out the variables that are here. So what I'm looking for is a yes, I will attend. Uh, no, I would like to change my appointment. And that's great. Now this little component down here, which is not quite displaying correctly, is actually a mapping component so that when my individuals receive the SMS, they click on the web link using their smartphone, they'll be able to see a Google map of my location. So I'm going to type in the address that I used earlier. You can see that address rendering nicely here on the map. 123 Main Street, San Andreas. And that's rendering nicely. I'll just update that little spelling there. Fantastic. Now I'm really happy with the way this template looks. Everything's there. Everything looks nice and concise. I can click across to the review tab. Just make sure it renders really nicely on a desktop environment and that looks great. And on a mobile device as well. So I can see that's all looking pretty fantastic. Let's save that template now.
that template is saved. That's step one, all done. Now that the template is ready, let's get our data ready for the send out. You'll remember that through the templating process, I used a bunch of attributes which need to be populated with data for each recipient. That was the app time, app date. I also had service type and loan car in there as well. And you'll remember from both uh, the uh, SMS and mobile, uh, sorry, mobile and web, we also include details of the person's name, further personalizing that communication. Now I've already prepared a spreadsheet that we can use uh, to populate all of those variables. Let me open that for you now. So you can see that Excel spreadsheet up on screen now. I'm just going to expand out these columns. So what we can see here, working left to right, is the mobile column. Now what we're going to use this for is not to have included in the outbound communication, but to tell Whisper which recipient or which mobile number we want the SMS to be sent to. We've got the first name column, that's where we introduce the communication. So hi Casey, hi Charlotte, hi Jane. We've got the appointment time, the appointment date, which we saw both in the mobile and web channels. We've also got the service type and the loan car. And you can see each of these little rows, the information is different. We've got four different loan cars that have been booked out. So this information is tailored for each recipient. So that looks great. What I'm going to do is now use this spreadsheet to prepare my bulk message send out. We do this by selecting the workspace where we've created the template or where we've made that template accessible and select bulk message from the workspace menu. Bulk message itself is a four step process. Step one is uploading the file that we just previewed. We do this by selecting choose file, locating the file that we just viewed and clicking next. The file will be uploaded to Whisper and progress us to step two. Step two, this is where we need to help Whisper to understand which columns in our spreadsheet are to be used for channels. So where are my mobile phone numbers and where are my email addresses? For the purposes of my use case, I only wish to send SMS, which has the ability to use the web channel as well. So I'm only going to select SMS and my column was mobile, but your column may be titled something different and you can select that here. Here we need to define our content for the message send out. But as we've taken the time to prepare the template, we can just select the template for use. And you can see it there, the all repair appointment reminder. Here's the familiar mobile text that I typed in and the web content that we had a look at earlier. I wish to make no changes to this content so I can proceed to the next step. And this is where it gets a little bit fun. Here we can preview the content in each channel for the first 10 recipients. My file only included six so that's the number that we're able to preview. Whilst it takes a few moments, it's well worth having a few spot checks to ensure that you've titled your attributes and column headings the same and that your content is legible and looks as you expect it to be. So let's have a look at recipient one. And that looks great. It's automatically populating those variables there. Let's have a look at the web channel. And that looks great as well. Let's have a look at another recipient. And those details are populating nicely. All the information has been contained and it looks really great. Once we're happy with the previews, we can hit send at the bottom of the page. And that is how we use Whisper's bulk messaging tool. Remember, 
you do not require a template to be prepared for the purposes of sending a bulk message. But as I've demonstrated to you today, you can take inspiration and even steal components from Whisper's template library, repurposing them as your own using very simple text and mouse entries, saving that off as a template, and then really easily using that template paired with your own data for your, from your own applications to create really simple appointment reminders and other types of communications out to your customers. Thanks again for your time today. This is Casey Waters, and you've just learned how to use Whisper's bulk messaging facility. Visit our website at whisper.com for more information. And have a great day.